It's not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See, I'm thinking, see, I'm analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. Man, it gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, one of the reasons why these whistleblowers are afraid to tell what's going on it's because a lot of times there's a lot of retaliation against them. You have a gentleman by the name of Trevor Murray and he worked for UBS and UBS was trying to push him to issue fraudulent data and he refused to do so. They put a mess pressure, allegedly, 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 and I'll tell you to buy, hold, or sell UBS. I'm just telling you what, what, what the papers say. They were putting pressure on him, allegedly, to issue fraudulent data to manipulate the market. And he refused to do it. He held his ground. And because he held his ground, he said that was the reason that they fired him. So they fired him and then he sued them in state court and he lost the case. And here's the reason why he lost the case. I want you to listen to the way the, 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 the law works. Whistleblowers who sue their employers for retaliation under the federal Sarbonis Oxley Act must prove that companies acted with retaliatory intent. So if you can't prove the retaliatory intent, if you can't prove that you were fired because they were ret retaliating against you, you have no case. That case is thrown out. So when you have these, these laws in place that put the whistleblower in a position where he loses job, he loses income, and then the court system doesn't even protect him. I think that's one of the major reasons why these people don't tell when they see all the fraud and corruption in the market because they have nowhere to turn. But Mr. Trevor Murray has an opportunity because the Supreme Court has decided to hear his case to determine whether retali retaliatory intent has to be proven in a whistleblower case. And I'm hoping the, the Supreme Court does the right thing. And I hope that they rule that you don't need to prove that. And I believe if there is the Supreme Court rules that retaliatory intent does not have to be proven in a whistleblower case, I believe more and more whistle whistleblowers will come forward because they will feel that the courts are on their side. We know the politicians are not on their side. We know the regulatory agencies are not on their side. But maybe the courts will be on their side. Anyway, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's fair that if you... Not snitch. This is not the right word. If you reveal... That your employer is engaging in fraudulent activity, robbing retail investors and pension funds, and they fire you. Should you be able to sue for damages? I think you should. Leave some comments. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.